Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend video. Today I'm going to show you the new mounting feature in Windows 8 and how Windows 8 deals with ISO files and disk image files. So as you can see right here on the desktop I've got an Ubuntu ISO which I downloaded a long time ago. Um, obviously they're now up to 12.04 uh, en route to 12.10 actually um, so yeah this is this is the image for 11.04 um, so essentially if you right click and you look at the options menu you're gonna see that the default option is mount and previous versions of Windows this used to be burn disk image or choose your favorite software to do it for you so if we double click and mount it's going to automatically mount and open the folder so this is how the Ubuntu installation disk looks like from the inside and obviously you can manage the drive you can eject it uh, you can well you can put it onto a disk if you want you can as I said burn to disk and uh, basically look at the properties not really much to show eh? Um, one pretty th pretty small detail to note is how uh, inactive windows actually turn gray um, when they're not being used which is something that used to be in old versions of windows and kinda got scrapped in windows 7 was it scrapped in vista 2? I think so I think it was ever since Arrow that this got scrapped. So that's a pretty neat detail. Small side note, nothing important. Shouldn't take much out of it unless you care about these kind of small little details. So essentially this is all there is to mounting the ISO and once you've mounted the ISO you can run the installer from within the application whichever you want to use. If you have another ISO for something else the same applies there and of course if you go to the computer right here you will be able to access it just like a regular DVD so now if you want to eject it you can eject it like so now let's say that you want to burn the disk image well it's very simple um, you basically um, have the disk image here and uh, you press burn it'll ask you for a DVD you put in the DVD you burn the DVD and you press burn and it will do the whole thing and if you click the verify it will verify after and then afterwards what the program will do is it will eject your DVD and tell you that it's done so in terms of ISOs Windows 8 has pretty much got you covered um, if you're on a netbook and you have an ISO of something you won't need to install any kind of extra software mounting comes out of the box uh, there's another mounting feature that I'm going to tell you about you can actually mount VHD files which is virtual hard drives I don't have a VHD file to show you but this is from Microsoft uh, a long time ago they announced that they would be allowing that to be mounted as well and of course it will be in the computer area and it will be seen as a virtual hard disk so it will be treated like as if the hard disk exists and you can access the content on there just as you would if it were an actual hard drive having said that that's pretty much all there is to know about dealing with disk images and ISOs in particular um, hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you like the new feature I mean it's something that OS X for, uh, OS 10 for example has had for a while you double click on a DMG and it will mount and it will open so it's nice that Microsoft finally gets this kind of feature built in it's it's a nice thing to have and it's very convenient to especially if you're on a netbook um, I'm not on a netbook right now um, but I do have a netbook as you know from some of my other tutorials if, you wa if you've watched the channel. Well that's pretty much it so 
let me know what you think. Subscribe button is above if you want to see more about Windows 8 and about other stuff too. That's always cool. Uh, social media stuff is in the description. And of course, um, you can ask me questions about anything to do with tech and I'll try my best to help you out. So until then, this has been another computer software is your friend video.